down players and coach. You can start your questioning. Some general thoughts, coach, on uh, finding a way to win. I guess a pretty good ball club. Um, it's it's been it's been happening all year. We just find a way. You know, I'm not real crazy about our defense tonight, but uh, we find a way. We, we we find a way. I'm very very proud of of the team, of our team. Very very proud. Tevin, can you talk about the uh, the free throws after they pulled within one? What what are you feeling when you're when you're you're at the line there? Yeah, towards the end they started really trapping a lot, so we really needed somebody that could knock down those free throws, and that's what point guards are supposed to do: go to the ball and I knock them down. Totally confident. Yeah, I was confident. <laughs> yeah, just talk about the, the third quarter a little bit. Anybody in you guys can answer it. It seemed like it was the guy kind of, it was the kind of, both teams didn't seem like they were getting much separation, and, and finally you guys were able to kind of pull away there in, in that late part of the third quarter. What happened? Well, um, I want one of my guys to answer, but I'm, I'm just going to say that uh, you know that that team is a mirror of, of our team. You know, we played basically the same way. So the bottom line is, you know, we, we, we just gutted it out. We just, we just gutted it out. And again, it's what we've been doing all year. Doing all year. Quincy, walk us through that play that resulted in two fouls on you, ended up getting disqualified. It's a pretty intense play. Uh, he, went up, he went up for a dunk. Um, I blocked it. I wish I got the foul. Man. I, should, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't have reacted that way. I should have just, you know, went back to great play. But, you know, it's, it's over with. It is what it is. Coach, what does it say about your team's resilience? I mean, you had Devin and Val Bell early in the middle of the third quarter, fourth quarter. Quincy uh, fouled out. What does it say about your team? <laughs> they never say die. They never say we're done. You know, we play until the very last second of every game. You know, it's just like being in the gym. Gym is, is war when we go at each other. It's war. So when we come out, you know, we kind of got an idea of what we got to do to be successful. Proud of the guys. Yeah. Really proud of them. How, how comfortable was it having Devin at the line at that time? I think they rolled off, what, nine straight points, and all of a sudden you're in a well, game again. You know, it's, you know, I feel very comfortable. Anytime my guys step to the line, I, I feel comfortable. You know, I mean, they've been doing it all year. It would be something different if it's been going on all year. So I'm, when I see us going to the foul line, it's, I'm pretty happy. A lot of the a lot of the chatter before this game was that this game was kind of the de facto two way state championship. How how's it gonna how tough is it gonna be to to regroup after a you know a hard nosed difficult game like this with you know a quick turnaround time and come back tomorrow? Well, you know, we never looked at it that way. You know, tomorrow these guys will be ready to play. Every game this year. I mean they'll come out slow, but eventually they'll pick up on what we gotta do and they'll be ready to play. Any of you guys, how much do you think it helps having been here before last year, that experience playing in some It helps a lot, you know. Last year being here, we uh, had a tough game in the championship, but we already know that uh, second trying to get the second ring is going to be even harder, so we're just going to come out. Last, all of us is going to be our last high school game, so we're just going to leave it all on the floor. Matthew, how much do you think your guys' length bothered them? at times tonight on the glass and even on the perimeter. Could you tell you that, that you were kind of making a difference with some of their shot selection and things yeah. like that? I don't know if I was very much. We're a very long team. You were what? Like, Sorry, say that first part again. We're a very long team. And we, uh, we, bother, we bother the other team a lot on the offensive end and defensive end. We get a lot of rebounds and we play smart. Any of you guys can answer this. I mean, you guys have been in so many close games against quality teams, um, even when you guys got up by, by 12, it seemed like, especially after Quincy got the, you know, fouled out, it seemed like things kind of slipped away a little bit. Talk about that and just being able to regroup again and find more ways to win games that, you know, maybe you should lose. Uh, like you said, like you said, it helps being, have been there before. Um, I got all of the guys trust each other. And it's a certain trust and being there before creates a certain bond. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, when we go on the stretch, it's just we all know we've been there before. We all know who, who can do what, who plays what role, and we just stick together and we do what we did tonight. Coach, did you know going into the game that you were going to go zone? Is that just your defensive principle for uh, Pitch and Scout the team? Uh, yeah, we, you know, we saw him on, on film, and um, we, felt, we felt pretty good 
about us, the coaches and I sat down and had a long conversation about it. And we felt good. We said we, whether we win it or, or, or lose it, I think this zone is good enough for us. I mean, it's, it's helped us throughout the year because, you know, we'll play man, we'll play zone, we'll trap and press and what have you. But we didn't have the rhythm, the rhythm that I thought that we should have had to switch a defense like that. You know, I got Chris Fitzgerald out there. We got Quincy out there. We got Matt and Devin and, and a host of other characters. So I'm, I'm, I'm very, very confident in our guys till the end. Hey, talk about Hicks. He really gave you guys a recovery boost at the start of the game. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's really our sixth star. He, he does good jobs for us. He, he really does. What, what's he yeah. average for you, though? Uh, he's averaging like between nine and ten okay. points a game. Solid. Yeah. Solid. And he does some things. And, you know, he's, he's also a piece of the puzzle, just like the other 12 guys are. Yeah. Uh, we'll just talk about you know, just having an opportunity to play, on, uh, play tomorrow for a state championship. Coach. Well, you know, that's, that's probably one of the, as a coach, you know, that's probably one of the greatest feelings that you could have. You know, we made it. You know, all the hard work now shows. So it's nothing like it. Ask these four guys up here. <laughs> yeah, just, just, I mean, just, just knowing that we're going back to a state championship, it shows that all the work that we put in during the season, going at each other in practice and everything is, Paying off, so tomorrow we gotta go out there and handle business. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm, we're here now, but I mean, like, we got a whole game to play tomorrow, so we're gonna get ready for that. Win one, we'll be fine. You guys play some tough opponents throughout the season. How do you, is, is Glen Park up there? It's one of the tougher teams that you had to play against. Yeah, yeah definitely, they definitely were a tough team. Yeah, they are a mirror of us. Play hard. Very aggressive. Very aggressive. What was it like matching with uh, Mike Blake? I know you guys had some battles. Oh, yeah, that's my guy. Battles. You know, through the Catholic League days. And, you know, it was always about, I knew when we had to go up against him and his team, I know it was going to be tough. It was going to be tough. He he reminds me of me, and I know I remind him of, you know, we, we've just gone through so much together, me and Mike Blake. Great guy. Great guy.